All right, this is workout B of the turbulence training, total torso training program, a beginner level program for 2011. And what we're going to do in workout B is a superset of exercises, then another superset of exercises, and then a bodyweight circuit. So we start with a superset of one leg hip extensions and dumbbell chest supported row. So one leg hip extension, we get other legs straight up in the air, and then we squeeze our glute and drive up. You put your hands up here for added difficulty, and you're really driving through the back of the leg and right here to come up. You can do up to 15 repetitions per each side. So you do all reps on one side, then switch over and do all reps on the other. Then you come up, and if you have a bench and dumbbells, you're going to do this exercise called a dumbbell chest supported row. So lying with your chest on the bench, dumbbells, squeeze your shoulder blades together, slowly lower down. Drive those elbows up. Now after you've done the hip extension, take a minute rest, then move in to the dumbbell row. Now you're going to rest again. If this is your first time through, you're actually going to move on to the next circuit. But in week two and week three, you'll do two or three supersets. So two or three rounds of that pair of exercises. Oh, one other thing I want to mention is if you don't have dumbbells, but you work out at a gym, or if you have access to a seated row, you can do seated row instead. Now if you work out at a gym, you're probably going to have access to dumbbells. If you only have a band, you can just do band rows. So standing band rows like that allows you to push your elbows, to really drive your elbows back and squeeze your shoulder blades together. So that's an alternative right there. All right, our next superset is going to involve push-ups and a wall squat hold. So in our first workout, in workout A, we did eccentric push-ups where your lower, focus was on lowering yourself. Now we're going to do a focus on regular push-ups and we're either going to use this type of incline, so a bar set up here so we can do push-ups, full repetitions, and they're easier when done this way. Now if you can't do them at that level, but you have a wall, hopefully you can see me here, you can do them at wall height. Okay, that's a very easy push-up that allows you to do the full range of motion. We could have done kneeling push-ups, and you can if you want to, but we want to move into the full body motion. And then once we've done our version of push-ups, we're going to do the wall squats. So you're going to be with your back against the wall, your feet out in front, and you're going to go down, and you're going to hold for 20 to 30 seconds as long as you can. It's going to be tough on your quads. You're going to hold that, and then come up when you can no longer hold. So that's it. Push-ups, rest a minute, wall squat, and then your first time through, you only do that once. In week two, you'll rest a minute and go through it again. In week three, you'll rest a minute after each one and go through it a full three times. So at the end of workout B, you're going to do a body weight circuit in place of interval training. So you did interval training after the end of workout A, but today we're not going to use intervals. We're just going to use our body weight. Six exercises that you can do at home with no equipment. Well, we're going to use a band for one of them, but other than that, no equipment. So we start off with jumping jacks. Now, if jumping jacks are too advanced for you, we're just going to do little jumps, or you can do squats, or you can do skipping if you want. Whatever you can do that will get you moving for 30 seconds. Now, when you do jumping jacks, make sure your arms go straight up overhead and not in front. So they go up overhead. It's really good for the shoulder mobility. So just like that. Because a lot of people sit down all day with the hunched shoulders, but getting those shoulder blades moving, very beneficial. After you've done 30 seconds of jumping jacks, we're going to go into something called close stance squats. So your feet are going to be just about hip width apart, push back, and come up. So from the side, And our regular bodyweight squats have a wider stance, but for this round, we're just going with that stance. If that's too hard, go down to the ground and do hip extensions. 
After we've done that, we're going to go down to the ground and do a plank push-up hold. So top of the push-up position, slight bend in your elbows and you're just going to hold that. Abs braced. So we've done a lot of push-ups this week and this time we're just going to hold this position. It's going to strengthen our arms a little bit but also our abdominals. If you can't do that, you can do kneeling push-ups or a regular plank, but we're also going to do a regular plank at the end of this circuit. So we've done the push-up. Now we're going to take a band and just take a, an easy grip on it. And by that I mean, so there's not a lot of tension, just an easy bit of tension, and we're going to pull the band apart. So that's it. You're driving your elbows back, squeezing your shoulder blades together. 15 times and again don't grab the band in here where you have to really struggle a nice easy pull apart get mobility in your upper back all right now we're going to go and do one more lower body exercise kind of a an odd one but we call it a duck under so i'm going to step down and to the side as if i was stepping under something and sliding out to the side so it's kind of like something Rocky did in training in one of his movies, but you're just keeping your chest up and just going side to side. And finally, last exercise, regular plank. Just bracing your abs, holding that position for 20, 30 seconds, as long as you can. And then, if it's week one, you'll stop there. In week two, you'll rest a minute and go through it again. Week three, you'll do it up to three times. And that's it for the end of workout B.